Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video where today we'll be previewing Andrew Ramsden Day at Flemington this Saturday. It's currently Wednesday when this is being recorded so I'm not sure what scratching is going to happen but I think it's going to be a good track. So let's get straight on to race number one. Phillies and Mares 84 over 1200 metres down the straight. Um, I've gone with Gidodden. Um, it ran really well at Sandown, but I'm more than exceed and lost by a length. It'll be better suited on a good track. Second was Mystery Love. Now, I've had a hard hard time splitting these two, but I'm banking on Mick Price to go to Morfordville with Mystery Love in the Proud Mistakes. Lank and Star won at Caulfield, and it's pretty good down the straight at Atlantica, who I tipped a couple of weeks ago won at Sandown. Race two, a two-year-old Set weights plus penalties over the thousand metres. Down the straight again, Miss Bassetti is my tip. It's first up. Its only run was behind River in a storm where it probably should have finished closer. And its jump out was really, really good and will be suited to the thousand metres. Better kick is the opening favourite, hasn't raced yet, but Damien Oliver goes on. I just think better kick. Um, if you look at its pedigree, it'll probably be, be better suited over further. Nantucket for Levi Kavanagh um, was very good run um, on debut behind our Playboy and Chrome Angel won uh, in the Warnable Carnival, which is always convincing. Race three, a three-year-old Phillies benchmark 78 over the 1600 metres. I've gone with November Dreaming. It was very impressive at Pakenham two starts back. Went up to Adelaide in the Queen of the South and it didn't fire a shot there, but it comes back down. That was against Shrouded and Mist and Seabrook. Comes back down um, to Melbourne to contest a race, which is probably easy for it to win. No, uh, Craig Williams goes on, which is always convincing. Merited in there for second. First up, it got a bit keen, but the heavy track probably wasn't its go. Flanders Rain never runs a bad race, and top pins um, for fourth. Race 4, benchmark 78 over the 1600 metres I've gone, Sikorsky, um, I think this is its day, getting back to the good track, draws a pretty good gate, I think Damien Oliver's going on, which is always a big plus, and I can see why it's the favourite, Orleans Rock, um, one by two lengths at Sandown, and a benchmark 70, that was a really good effort, Duke of Plumpton had two starts back and it was pretty good run there an adversary who uh, it ran second last start and it was a good second race five is an open handicap over the thousand meters this is a really tough race I've gone King of Hastings I liked the jump out of Flemington because it was only three lengths off trekking and it beat Santa Ana Lane by about three lengths so that's always convincing first up it's never run at the thousand meters but it's got the class Prezado the track and distance specialist he never runs a bad race. All over Bossa Nova for third. He is first up, but go look at his jump out because that was enormous. Eduardo in there for fourth because he was a Oakley play place getter um, last year. Now race six is the feature. The listed Andrew Ramsden stakes over the 2800 meters. I've gone with King of Leogrons. The jump out wasn't convincing. It's had eight weeks between runs. It won the Adelaide Cup. And now running in the Andrew Ramsden. Um, I think he's just got too much class and he'll be too good for them. Jumps from a good gate as well. Ocean X has never lost at Flemington. Uh, draws gate number one and he, she's coming down from Morfaville where she won a group two. She'll be close. Too close to the sun. He is a genuine spring carnival hope for a race there because he, Lindsay Smith has got him flying. Gate two goes to the front. Hopefully... He goes well and super girl. Race 7, a handicap over the 2,000 metres. So I've gone with Rupture only because I can't ignore his winning form that he's in. He usually takes, he doesn't take an improvement. Third up, third up run, which concerns me, but he's um, a class horse, jumps from an ideal gate and that should give him every chance. Starcaster in there for second, um, jumps from gate 2 and didn't probably, it didn't enjoy the heavy track um, last time. Chapada, only won one from 17, but it was a really convincing run behind Rupshire last start, and Super Titus was also convincing behind Rupshire last start. 
Now, race 8 is an open handicap over the 1400 meters. I've gone Iconoclasm, and I think he's a really good chance. Um, Damien Oliver goes on, jumps from gate 3, and he settles on the speed, so that's always pretty good. He's good at the distance, good at the track, and I think he's got a chance. The one I'm giving him a push for at $15 is Heptagon. Um, really good run behind Order of Command in the Wongoom at Warnable. Um, and takes good improvement into his second up run. Manolo Blanek's coming back down from Rose Hill, uh, Sydney, and it was he was pretty good before he went up to Sydney, so he could surprise an Akinar star in there for fourth. Now race nine, the last race, the three-year-old handicap over the 1,400 metres, gone Broadway in fourth. Now it went to Adelaide behind Keelong and Ghana, ran a terrific race there, comes back down, has to beat B Hunter, who probably should have won last start, Final man jumps from an outside gate, but if it gets across, it'll be hard to beat. Debt and deficit in there for fourth. I think my two best bets on the card are Sikorsky in race four and King of Leogrons in the Ramsden. And I think Heptagon's the best value. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a good day.